Hey, Dale here from Mindsight Studios. I'm going to show you a very common problem that a lot of new SketchUp users run into. If you have previously used other CAD programs, you might be familiar with the idea of using layers to isolate and categorize geometry. Older versions of SketchUp prior to 2020 also had a feature called layers, but this feature has since been renamed to tags to help avoid confusion with how layers work in other programs. New users have a tendency to create a tag set it as active, and then start drawing lines and faces on that layer or tag, thinking it will prevent the entities from interacting with geometry with other tags. However, SketchUp tags don't work that way, as I'll demonstrate. I'll start off by creating four tags. Next, I'll set tag one as the active tag and draw out a rectangle. When I select the faces and edges that I just drew, you can see that they have been assigned to tag one. I'll change my display to show color by tag so it's easier to see which faces are assigned to each tag. Now I'll make tag two the active tag and draw another rectangle connected to the first one. If you are used to other CAD programs, you might be thinking that the rectangle drawn using tag two will not merge with the one drawn with tag one, but you'd be wrong. As you can see, if I move one of the rectangles, the shared edge moves along with it. Next, I'll make tag 3 the active tag and draw another connected rectangle and do this one more time with tag 4 as the active tag. Finally, I'll make untag the active tag so I can make the other tags invisible. Notice how when I turn off the visibility of the various tags, some edges also get hidden, which can be surprising. What's worse is that even if a tag is hidden, the geometry using that tag can still be accidentally modified. I'll hide all of the tags except tag two, and then move the rectangle. When I unhide the other tags, you can see that all of the rectangles have been modified in an unexpected way. The way to avoid these surprises is to always keep untagged as the active tag when drawing. Instead of using tags to isolate geometry, use groups and components. I'll redo this example, but this time with untagged set to active. After drawing the rectangles, I'll double click each one, right click and choose Make Group, and then assign the group to the tag I want. This is the recommended workflow when using SketchUp. Keep your faces and edges untagged and then assign meaningful tags to groups and components instead. Now I can move or edit a group without affecting the adjacent geometry.